I am usually pretty indifferent when it comes to uh, sports media people uh, because we don't know these guys for real, right? So I like to pretty much consume the content and keep it moving. But if it's one guy I've never really uh, cared for in that realm, it's Jason Whitlock because he actually seems like a real hater to me. And uh, I don't think that uh, when you go on these big platforms, this is the place to actually spread real hate uh, because you have personal issues or um, inferiority complexes about people. Uh, and Jason with like, I believe I've that complex about a bunch of people who keep winning and doing better than him. One example is Deion Sanders. If you look at the way he's covering Deion Sanders right now, you, you would it would leave you wondering why is this guy actually going so hard? Why is it so personal to him? In my opinion, it's just because he's a hater. I may be wrong, but it's just my thing. And another one of these quote unquote victims right now is Shannon Sharp. So he took to his uh, own podcast, Fearless, I believe that's what it's called, to actually threaten Shannon Sharp of exposing him for all of the dirty stuff uh, and the bad person that Shannon Sharp uh, is allegedly. So I'm going to play what Jason Whitlock had to say. But before I play the clip, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to say this, speaking more specifically. Shannon Sharp. Cut it out. Shannon Sharp is trying to point a finger at a Fox executive or two, uh, trying to smear them and put pressure on them and drum up a media storm of someone needs to be replaced blame this executive, they pushed me out, blah, blah, blah. Shannon Sharp needs to cut it out. I know what happened at FS1. And if, if Shannon and, and Stephen A keep pushing this agenda, I'm going to expose all that I know. And I know all of it. And so cut it out guys and they wanted him out for very good reasons does just i just want you to know who skip bayless and fox sports and now espn are dealing with anybody at home go call up the clip of a 50 year old man sitting at courtside uh with his gay fashion designer at a lakers game and all that emotional energy and all that, uh, wh what went on with Shannon Sharp. Does that look like a man who can control his emotions? All right, so you heard what the man had to say, and it's a lot to unpack. First of all, the Laker game, that was a bad moment, that's for sure. Um, we don't know Shannon Sharp behind the scenes. Maybe he's hot-tempered, but what I can say, and we can all say, is that this is a one-time thing when it comes to his TV career. It only happened over that game and he came back the next day apologized for it gave a heartfelt apology and uh, in my opinion a real apology starts by you know really changing your behavior and maybe this happened behind the scenes between him and skip but on tv it never happened again so i take the apology and if I'm being completely honest, I believe this was uh, in a weird way good publicity. A lot of people like to say, you know, all good public, all publicity is good publicity. I disagree with that. Some stuff is too crazy. But for this one, the overall consensus and reception of Shannon Sharp uh, being ready to fight uh, the team, uh, it was more taken as a funny thing than a bad thing or a bad look, in my opinion. Maybe I'm off on this one, but I think that. So um, I believe that he actually brought some anticipation around uh, the show and around the Lakers versus Grizzlies matchup after that, you know. And every time when the Lakers or the Pond would do something against the Grizzlies, everyone would, would rush back to Undisputed to see what Shannon had to say. So that was good publicity, in my opinion. But hey, so that's the first point. Second point to Jason Whitlock. Why do I not take anything seriously about this? The timing. So you've known these, that stuff uh, that was, that's allegedly happening behind the scenes about the true Shannon Sharp for a while. You had to. You, you did not just start, you know, inv in investigating just as Shannon Sharp got let go. So you, kn you knew that stuff. Why are you telling us now? Now that Shannon Sharp is on TV winning, 
Now that Shannon Sharp is making big moves, uh, Club Shay Shay, he's, um, he actually took that and he's owning it. Now that he has his own show with Ocho Cinco, now that he's on First Take, the biggest platform is Sports Media, uh, raising the viewership. Again, praised by Stephen A. Smith or under Stephen A. Smith wing. Why is it now that you feel that, okay, let me go at Shannon Sharp. Let me threaten him. Let me give you guys who the real Shannon is. Why? That's just hate. That's my point that I was doing in the intro. I feel like Jason Whitlock is truly a hater of whoever is doing better than him in sports media for whatever reason. Especially when it's people that look like him. Because now he has to look in the mirror and be like, oh man, why are these guys so much better than me? So that's that. Second point, is Jason Whitlock actually going to th expose anything? I don't think so. Jason Whitlock has made it very clear in the past that he does not care for Shannon Sharp and even that he has no respect for Shannon Sharp. He, uh, for example, for Stephen A. Smith, he also said once that uh, he's not really his friend or whatever, but at least he respects him. But he says, I don't respect Shannon Sharp. So if he really had something, do you think he would just go up there on TV and kind of hold the information? No, he would just say it. That's who Jason Whitlock is. But he's not saying nothing because I don't think he has anything. I really don't. I really don't. Plus that threat is like, uh, when you threaten somebody, it's like, don't, don't you cross that line or I'm gonna do it. What is Shannon Sharp actually supposed to do? He's not gonna do nothing. You're not on Shannon Sharp's radar. He's not gonna go on first they can address you. He's not gonna tweet about you. He's not gonna go on Club Shay Shay to talk about you. No on his show is Chad Ocho Cinco. He's not. So nothing is gonna happen. And you know it, you know it. So no exposing. He's just talking. That's cloud chasing and that's hate. That's what he's doing. Last point about Shannon Sharp uh pointing Skip Bayless in a bad light. What has Shannon Sharp actually done? Every time I hear Shannon Sharp talk about Skip Bayless, it's always the same stuff. Yeah, uh, we've had six-pack months, but Skip Bayless is my guy. He looked out for me. He provided an opportunity. I'm not the hero where I'm at today without Skip Bayless. I'm not going to let six bad months pretty much mess up six good years. Skip will always be my friend. All that's good stuff. We all remember that speech when he actually got to tears and he looked at Skip in the eyes and said, just know I gave you everything I have when you lay your head on that pillow at night. This is what this is the only coverage that Shannon Sharp has provided of Skip Bayless on live TV. So that's that that Shannon Sharp actually pointed Skip Bayless in a bad light because he allegedly went to Stephen A. Smith and shared his truth behind the scenes. And then Stephen A. Smith took it upon himself to, talk, to tell the world, not Shannon Sharp. And you want to expose Shannon over that? Come on now. So again, for these three reasons, I, I don't take this seriously. I really think that it's really rooted in hate and jealousy for whatever reason. So I'm going to close the video right here. What I need you, to, you guys to do is get in that comment section and give me your thoughts about this whole thing. Do you believe that Jason Whitlock has anything? Uh, do you believe that Jason Whitlock will end up exposing Shannon Sharp? Uh, and who do you agree with? Do you think that Jason Whitlock has a point? And if so, please break down your opinion in the comment section. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you guys later. Peace.